All right, here's the uh, preview for uh, next Saturday's bolt action game. Um, got some hills underneath here. To get you the bird's eye view. They're a bit subtle when you when you're not at eye level. They blend in kind of nice, but. A bit of elevation there. Just a little elevation over there. So we got uh, trees. If you go over the barrier, one tree it'll be light cover. If you go through, end up your line of sight crosses over two trees. You basically you can't see. So that'll be a line of sight blocker. We've got some stone walls up there. We'll say the gate. If anyone wants to hide in front of a gate, that doesn't do shit. You get shot right through that. <laughs> um, you get pretty good cover off, though, behind those walls. Houses are cover. More trees. If you can't be seen with hills, you get cover. Some more fencing. I'll probably give the stone walls hard cover and then the wooden fencing around the church soft cover. Uh, some more trees up there. A little village. I'll get you a top view up here. I'll kind of move around a little bit. Uh, Killings field tables, just terrain is still mesmerizing to me. I swept a little bit, so I moved chairs around. It shouldn't be too grindy, but of course it will be. Um, and then. from the other end. Uh, this will end up being a three-part campaign. This will be the first part of the campaign where the Americans will uh, enter with successful order dice. They could, might be a little bit scattered. It's going to be one full company. So they might have some coordination errors getting on. They'll come on on that side. Germans will be pre-placed so the Americans will be able to see where they are. And the objective will basically be will be to um, kill the captain um, wherever he ends up getting placed, the German captain. And then after that, we'll uh, we'll buy a second Killing Fields map. We'll have an encounter battle on this map, and then the Americans win that one. We'll do the final objective on the third map whenever I get that we'll be all the way down there so it'll be kind of fun probably string it out over six weeks but we'll see what happens uh, Americans will basically have to keep the core of their force going the Germans will get reinforcements and we'll see how tough it goes sorry about my knees you can thank Uncle Sam for that alright So the American force, I think it's 1,280 or 1,260 points. Um, the Germans have about 850 or 860. Um, they're going to be outgunned, of course. I expect them to lose. It wouldn't be any fun to get wiped. Uh, to defeat the Americans on the first map, the point is basically they're going to try to inflict some casualties on the Americans to make it tougher on the second board. I'm sure this week I'll work on that. Waiting up for the game, I'll work on the second battle. And uh, try to figure out a fair way to, you know, how many Germans are going to come in on, this, on the next battle, and then a couple other tweaks. Uh, the This will be timed. I'll do some measurements. Uh, and tweak down some rules before we get to the to the kickoff on Saturday. Uh, you know, seven, six, seven turns uh, they'll have to have it done by. So it'll keep the game moving. I mean, we want Bloody James's first game, so it could be kind of interesting. We'll, we'll, I'll uh, 
definitely pause the camera for uh, teaching moments while we struggle through it. <laughs> and I haven't played in about a year, so it's going to be fun. I've been painting Napoleonic, so this will be a nice little reward for me finishing up my uh, infantry and cannons. I started some French hussars upstairs, so I'm kind of excited to go getting them done. I don't think they're going to be as bad as I think they are. Well, we shall see who's ours. Or, um, go over the forces. I think the Americans have like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, eleven order dice, and the Germans have nine. Uh, the main core of the American force is going to be uh, four uh, identical veteran uh, infantry squads with you know they got the tough fighter role they got two BARs the NCO has a submachine gun everyone else has got a rifle um, I'm expecting them to basically but James is going to be running these guys and basically just to mince meet up my forces uh, to add insult to injury uh, they have a d attachment of uh, combat engineers with uh, two submachine guns two BARs like uh, two riflemen and then a flamethrower so they should mutilate some stuff um, they've got a veteran first lieutenant and then a veteran captain and support weapons which I I don't know if they're gonna they're slow the Americans down the way how fast they usually move at least in my uh, previous games uh, a light mortar and two 30 cals so just in case uh, uh, James wants to you know, gets pinned down anywhere, he will uh, have a couple firepower options at least. And I think they have, and then they have a medic. You have to have a medic. So that's my boy right there. That's what I was. So he'll be. We'll see if he's a hero this time. He's been. They've been very good. I know a lot of other games I watch. Uh, the veterans. I mean, the medics don't do shit, but mine seem to really come through. You know, I'm watching probably. So that's the American forces. I'll uh, I'll get you an exact total here, but it's like 1,260 or 1,280. Uh, the Germans have a, a hodgepodge. Uh, it's almost yeah, it's like a full company. So that's really kind of neat. Uh, they got a hodgepodge company. <laughs> they probably it's, this is going to be after D-Day um, somewhere in France. The Germans are basically just throwing guys together. This is kind of a weak spot in the line. And the American captain wants to be a hero, so he's going to charge through uh, a weakened spot to try to impress his uh, his major or his colonel above him. And then uh, the opportunity arises where he can he just basically goes crazy and starts exploring the gap. That's that'll be the hopefully so the campaign can happen. Uh, He'll chew up these guys. Then he'll like you'll find some paperwork on the major, you know, saying, "Hey, oh God, we can get to this bridgehead down here." Then they'll attack across this map over here, and they'll just keep on pushing to the final objective, which will be not where my glass of water is, but that, kind of right where that unpainted spot is. And the Americans will get off between the two bunkers down there that are going to be there. That'll be their final objective, which will be like a bridge. If I can take that bridge intact. They can. Uh, the Americans will keep office the superior officers above that captain will keep pouring in resources to try to uh, support this insane dash to catch the Germans where they can get more armor to go across that bridge to support it. So the Ameri uh the Germans, uh, they got a, a, I believe it's a regular or veteran second lieutenant. They have a veteran uh, captain. He'll be the objective. He's got some kind of tactical maps and intel on him with his little machine gun pistol in that bag so when they blow his ass up they'll uh, find the data the, infra, the the intel that'll tell them they can keep on going the, the core of this hodgepodge leftover company that's been blown to hell and uh, is trying to stop the Americans waiting on you know waiting on reinforcements is uh, four <laughs> basically fire teams but they're supposed to be squads. They've they've lost, had some losses. They're identical. They're regular troops. These guys are getting pumped in to just basically buy time for better troops to come. 
Um, they've probably been, um, they've got a, each one of them has an NCO with a submachine gun, uh, three rifles, and they've got one uh, light machine gun for every single one of them. And they're regular. So we'll see how well they hold up against these insane bastards. They're all coming in hard as nails, and they're just going to chop them up. Especially if they go, if they assault anybody with these tough fighter rolls, they're going to mutilate them. There is a uh, one uh, hardcore uh, grenadier, uh, gr veteran grenadier squad that is in the area, and uh, they've got all got assault rifles. They've got two light machine guns, and uh, basically they're here to probably, you know, they surrounded them with all these nincompoops <laughs> and they are gonna they're basically supposed to hold it and train these other guys how to be good fighters they're kind of out here to support these other morons uh, they're gonna have a, a mortar with a spotter and they're gonna have one uh, NG 42 it's gonna be spraying out fire so I'll get to place all these guys and then uh, James will basically be able to bring his boys in and uh, fight like hell. But he'll know where I am and he'll try to find a weak spot. So I've got to try to put down some kind of defense. Uh, I'm going to nail my guys down. They won't this be like an early morning attack, this first one. So I'm going to come up with a measurement of how far or until someone starts shooting where the rest of the Germans can't move. Uh, they'll all be uh, probably down in ambush. Uh, waiting because they're just they know the Americans are out there they're just they're just trying to buy time so they're just uh, they, they're, they don't really want to fight right now they're just kind of trying to hold their ground until headquarters can actually send them up some armor or a vehicle or something and maybe counterattack later but these guys are uh, the good troops are probably in the back partying and uh, these guys are up there just to uh, basically look scary and stop the Germans from coming at them. I mean, stop the Americans from coming across and making the mad dash for the bridge, which they're probably going to do. So that that'll be the battle. Uh, I'm sure I'll have some more tweaks before we get started, but I just wanted to uh, start getting these guys on the board. I'll make a second video of just a German placement, so I can uh, I'll send it to my buddy James, so he'll have as much time to formulate a plan of how he wants to attack. And uh, that'll be it for now. So, Americans versus the Germans. See how long I can hold out, how many Americans I can put in the ground. And, uh, I don't know. We'll see. It'll be a good learning game. Uh, very few support weapons, no vehicles, just something for uh, James to start getting comfortable. And then, just like how the orig original squad leader game was when you first started it, it's like you, you get infantry, then you get artillery, then you get vehicles and all kinds of complicated stuff. So as we progress from left to right across this giant table of mine, we will uh, uh, we'll make it more and more complicated and uh, allow James to grow as a uh, miniature war game player. So be fun. Uh, I'll have the whole thing for you in gory detail next weekend. And uh, stay warm this week. It's freaking going to be cold from what I've heard. We'll see what happens. All right. See you guys.